Good morning, beloved friends. I am coming on here to tell you um, some news and invite you to join me in in this. I I'm here in in Cape Town. I'm staying in Heart Bay uh, for a little bit, two more weeks, and I would love to offer you some holy works. So the first thing I can offer you are to come see me individually. And then you might know want to know what that is about, what that's about. So I, I've been in the lineage of Dakini for a while now. I, I was a founding member, or initial member, I don't know how to explain it, um, of the Advaita Tantra School in 2002, towards the end of 2002, it started. And there were originally um, three women that found Swami Rahasya as his, his first uh, flowers of enlightenment started to blossom. <laughs> and somehow we found this guy and we just like latched on and, uh, and things started to happen and energy started to come through and expansion started to happen. And Dakini energy came through very strong. And so that was uh, a really strong um, uh, initiating energies into the Dakini lineages uh, that happened here in South Africa. And then about 10 years later, um, and that's a whole different story, we went separate ways. Uh, it, wasn't, it, wasn't, uh, it wasn't so friendly, but I'm not going into that now. <laughs> um, I've had lots of feelings about that. So, um, but... And it maybe was necessary for me to do that so that the lineage I carry could get stronger. And there has been an evolution in the Dakini lineage I carry. So a while back, if you came to see me, I would want to, <clears throat> I'd like connect with you. I'd feel your feelings. I'd feel your, hear your thoughts. I would talk into the unconscious and I would reveal to you uh, what you need to know that you're not seeing about yourself. And that's how it's been. So I'd hold a much more kind of, uh, I don't know how to put it, um, almost like, you know, I know the answers and I'm going to tell you them kind of position, which is nice. You know, it's kind of relaxing and good for the nervous system, especially if what's coming through is truth and helpful to you. So it's, it was beautiful, beautiful work. But as um, the, the evolution continued uh, in my work at the Kini, it becomes now very important that I find ways how to help you have a direct conversation with your own body and your own being. Not me so much the middle, middle woman any longer. Um, so I have ways first to dialogue with you and to hear what you've got to say and to help your, your nervous system start to trust me and relax a little. And the invitation is there. I always work at the pace of your body, not faster. I like to work even a bit slower. Slower has got a magic to it, doesn't it? Especially when we go to, you know, um, on this on the side, once one enters lovemaking, and that's in your life, when you go into lovemaking, you go slow down into lovemaking, you find so much more is revealed in lovemaking, you know, and in life, when we just can slow down into the present moment. So I do that with my work as well. And as we slow down into that presence and I go into um, touching your body and I have a particular way I do that. I call it into the wound, my work, and I take you into the wound or into the unconscious through touch and I help you to have a direct conversation with your own body, which I facilitate and help. If you get stuck, I help you. And then, so that's, so we move from the sort of more the mental realm. And then we start to track and stalk the energies into the unconscious, into the body. And then we start to work with the energies themselves. And in that we're working with different fields, we're working with the emotional field, the feeling field, the sexual field. The sexual field is very important. There's so much of the unconscious is tied into the sexual field. And the sexual field is our creation field. And it's in the tantric realm, it's it's like the, the mirror of God. It's creation. So it's it's a mirror of God in that way. So we work with those different realms. So I'm here um, 
available for this work. And I just wanted to let you know what I'm, that I am here and I could support you with some work while I'm here into some deeper expansion, uh, into some places you don't want to see. I especially enjoy actually the darker aspects. <laughs> hey, you know, we will have it. I enjoy it. <laughs> I enjoy the darker aspects of human beings oftentimes, especially if they can't, if people come with consciousness, if people are just unconscious in darkness and acting out like, you know, more like the three-year-old tantrum, tantrum child, that's, you know, not so interesting. But when someone comes with um, having done a fair amount of work and they, they're in awareness and consciousness of themselves and then they want to explore some unseen or dark aspect of themselves, something they might consider uh, something they wouldn't want to share with the world. I enjoy that work. It's it's very expansive, actually. If we always just stay the nice guy or the nice girl, we only need a certain portion of ourselves. So in expansion, we often do need to go to the opposite spectrum of who we think we are and let ourselves get into that. Call it chaos magic, you know. Um, so I, I invite whatever wants to be seen to come through. And, and that can be a nice... Uh, that can be... Yeah, quite a profound way to meet more of yourself. So that's uh, in my invitation. If you are interested in working with me in person, which is always lovely, I'm, I'm available online, but in person is really nice because then I can really get into your body and your energy and so forth. Um, you're welcome to set up a call with me and we can have a conversation about that, uh, see what might work for you. It can also be nice for you to come for a few sessions while I'm here. So we go in a little deeper, and I shall return so we can um, com continue our conversation, you know. So yeah, just get in touch, and we can inquire into what is uh, coming up in your internal world, and what needs some presence and witnessing and love. And then I'm also offering a few gatherings, where we get together and do some holy works together which are always so much fun and helpful to have the mirror of others around. And so, of course, you can please uh, also get in touch with me about that and I will put you onto some information portals. Yeah, that's it, really. I hope I hear from you. I'd love to hear from you. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it's always a great honour and privilege and I'm also grateful to work with your holy work. It's a wonder to be part of that. And yeah, I've done it for a while now, so I have a way of doing it that really goes in. Surprisingly, it, it, it will take you places. It will enter your soul. So, mm, wish you a beautiful day. Namaste. <laughs>